Assalamu alaikum. I want to tell you a very interesting story that I came across. They say there was a man who was going to purchase a horse and he had the money for that horse in his pocket. And so a friend of him asked him, where are you going? He says, I'm going to buy the horse. So the friend says, say, inshallah. Inshallah means if Allah wills, you know, we as Muslims are taught that you should not say that you're going to be doing something in the future, be it near future or further on, distant future. Don't say, I'm going to be doing something without saying, inshallah, if Allah wills. Because if Allah doesn't will, it's not happening. The Quran says, وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدًا إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah. So that verse actually has the same meaning. What I just said now, don't say that you're going to be doing something in the future, except by the will of Allah, inshallah. So his friend tells him, say inshallah. He said, for what? I've got the money in my pocket and I'm going to buy the horse. The horse is there. And that's it. Say inshallah. The man didn't understand the value of inshallah. So he didn't say it. He questioned it. Why should I? I mean, it's something happening. He said, I just say inshallah. Anyway, he didn't listen. He went to buy the horse. So he went to the market and he saw a few horses and he saw the one he wanted and he he told the man, right, what's this uh, price? He said, well, the price is, as you know, it's so much. We're not changing it. He says, okay, I've got the money. He put his hand in his pocket and there was no money. Where did the money go? It fell or someone pinched it. Something happened, but there was no money. The man immediately said, oh no, man. So the seller asked him, what's the problem? He said, Inshallah, 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 I don't have my money, Inshallah, Inshallah, maybe it fell down, Inshallah, or, or a thief, Inshallah, took it, or Inshallah, you know, Inshallah, I, and, and he kept on repeating the term, Inshallah, he didn't buy the horse because he didn't have the money, he went back, his friend told him, what happened? He said, Inshallah, I went to the market, Inshallah, I saw the horse, Inshallah, I met the man, Inshallah, I, and he started saying Inshallah for everything in his sentence. He now realized the value of Inshallah, but he started saying it where it doesn't even belong. So in his statements, he started repeating the term Inshallah. I went Inshallah, I came back Inshallah, I saw Inshallah, there was no money Inshallah, I don't know what happened Inshallah, and I came back Inshallah, and I don't have the horse Inshallah, and he grabbed his head and says, oh no, man. I should have listened to you. Well, the moral of the story, uh, and I told you I came across the story. So the moral of the story is, you know what? When someone tells you to do something that is instructed in the Quran or Sunnah, do it. Don't question it and say, why should I? I mean, if Allah, if Allah says, say, inshallah, just say it. Look, I'm going to buy this horse, inshallah, and tomorrow we're going to be going, inshallah, or I'd like you to visit me, inshallah, and so on. The t only time you don't say, inshallah, is when you're making a dua. Cure me. Don't say cure me, inshallah. Say, oh Allah, please cure me. Oh Allah, grant me goodness. Don't say, oh Allah, grant me goodness, inshallah. Because then it's wrong. May Allah bless everyone. I hope you learned a lesson from this funny but serious story. Meaning it's funny in its nature, but the lesson derived is serious. Barakallah feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.